This is an ESP8266 driving 14 LEDs using PWM. That's pretty impressive seeing as the ESP only has 8 digital pins that support PWM. But in this 2 minute tidbit I'm going to show you how you can get additional pins for your ESP8266 or any microcontroller using an add-on board. The star of the show is this board that's built using a PCA9685. Let's take a look at it in more detail. But before we jump into it, let's quickly talk about what is PWM. You use it in the Arduino IDE using analog write. It turns on and off the pin so quickly that the average voltage that comes from the pin is reduced. If you look at the diagram there, the red line represents what level the voltage is at based on the duty cycles. Now back to the board. It has 16 pins where the duty cycle is individually configurable. This means you can set a different level on each one of the pins. For example, at the start of the video, I showed a clip where the LEDs all had different brightness. It also has a 12-bit resolution, which means you can set the value on the pin between 0 and 4096, with 4096 being the brightest. The frequency of the PWM is also adjustable, but it affects all pins. So for example, servo motors require a frequency of about 50 or 60 Hz, while LEDs require a frequency of over 1000. This means that you can use this board for either servos or LEDs, but not both. The board uses I2C for communication, which means it only requires two pins from your microcontroller. Also the address is adjustable using these pads up the top, so you can actually connect 62 of these together. And finally, at about $2 delivered, they're really cheap as well. Although it must be said they take more than a little bit of inspiration from a 16 channel servo driver from Adafruit, so I'm going to link to both of these below. Wiring up the board is pretty straightforward, you just connect it to the I2C pins of your device. Here's an example using the Wemos D1 Mini. The power for the servos can be provided through the V plus pin or else the screw terminals at the top of the board. To use the board, I recommend using the Adafruit PWM server driver library. You can either install it from GitHub, which I'll link to in the description, or you can just search for Adafruit PWM in the Arduino library manager. The examples that come with the library are really good, so check these out to see how to use the board. Hopefully you found this video interesting. If you need more information on the board, I definitely recommend checking out the Adafruit learn guide for it, which I'll link to below. If you have any other questions though, please let me know in the comments section below, and thanks a lot.